Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my video today. Welcome to the channel if you are new to the channel. Otherwise, if you are returning, thank you for coming back. Uh, this video is pretty much, you know, if you have a hybrid vehicle, how to show you how to jumpstart your vehicle with the hybrid uh, type of vehicle. If you don't have jumper cables or let's say you're just not prepared because uh, I have a hybrid vehicle in this video, but you can't jumpstart them because they, they just don't jumpstart like a regular vehicle. So I'm going to show you what you can do to get your vehicle started in a time of emergency. You might like this. It's pretty slick. Something that I learned. Let me show you. Okay, so right now you can see the dashboard. Uh, the, the vehicle's not turned on. It is on, as you can see, but it, as you can see right here, it's not ready to be driven. So if I go to change it and try to drive it, it's gonna holler at me. So let me put this back in park. So I'm just gonna show you what happens. So for a hybrid vehicle, for those of you who don't know, if you have a hybrid vehicle, this may not be for all models, but for a lot of them, if you have it on, and let's say you have, you know, the dashboard screen here, and you have a main screen here. Now what will happen is if you're using your vehicle like I'm doing, I got the heat going because it is cold out here. Uh, I got, you know, the heats, uh, the seats heated up and all that stuff. And, um, and use, I play music or whatever, so I don't have the turn on, on, turned on right now because, well, I'm shooting a video, but this screen here, if this screen happens to shut off on you while you have a vehicle not actively turned fully on, then what will happen is for this particular model, which is a Lexus ES300H, uh, it will actually not allow the car to start regardless of the battery of what is charged at like if, if I change the controls here let me see if I can change that for you uh, let's see here okay so yeah so yeah we have the the hybrid battery here which is the one that is um, the one that sits underneath the back seat uh, let's see if I'm bring back okay so yeah so right now the car is not even using the battery it's just sitting here and it's on um, and then you also have the car battery, which is the 12 volt battery that sits in the trunk. Now, if that battery gets too low, if I'm not mistaken, that is what controls this screen. And so if that screen shuts down, then the car will not start. It'll just act weird. I'm gonna see if I can catch that in the video. Um, so just give me a few minutes. I'm gonna fast forward to that. So you can see how that looks when the vehicle is not at the highest voltage that it needs to be at to start the vehicle but it still looks like it's on and it just acts wonky. Okay, so now it looks like it's getting ready to start shutting everything down. Uh, right now it already shut off my uh, heater. Well, I did that, but it shut off all these other controls down here and there's a message on the screen right here. Uh, let's see if I can get it go back to it. Yeah, high power consumption. So if you see that message, that means you probably want to start your car real soon here otherwise your battery is going to be too low to, for it to start now if i keep this running long enough you're going to see this screen shut off i've been playing music now um in between you know editing this video um but anyway so just in case um i can get this on a video showing what, what happens when when the car has not enough power uh what i did was you know i have a, a battery ready this is just like your regular flashlight so it's like a dwell uh, 12 volt lithium battery flashlight you know use it for whatever you you want to use a flashlight for but so um pretty much anything that has like a 12 volt battery you should be able to use that to, to start your hybrid vehicle it doesn't have to be some car battery because really you're not jump starting a hybrid vehicle all you're doing is just adding a little bit of voltage to the battery and that's all it needs to start this computer right here so I try to let people know you're not really jump starting a hybrid vehicle. The hybrid vehicle has two batteries, the main battery, which is in the back, and then the hybrid battery that powers the, 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 the motor that's in the car. Whereas the car battery powers the engine that's in this car, which is what is used once you start your vehicle to charge the whole vehicle. So just to get that clear for some people who, who might say you are jump starting the vehicle you're, you're really not because if you try to jump start a hybrid vehicle you're not jump starting with the jump pack because it, it doesn't work the same way so that's why I want to be very clear in this video why I said you're not jump starting a hybrid vehicle 
you're just adding a little bit more voltage that way this computer or whatever computer that's in your car the main computer that controls all the main functions of your car to, to operate so it will actually have enough power to start the vehicle I will also add that if it's the summertime or you're in an area where it's warm out you may not get this message up here about the high climate power consumption so you may not get that warning it may just start cutting out on you just randomly okay so now the car is starting to act weird it's starting to reboot itself trying to start because it doesn't have the power Okay, and it's going to keep doing that until it, it just pretty much drains its battery down. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this music off. If I can even get to it. It may not even let me get to turning off the music. And just to show you that we're not using the hybrid battery. Okay, so here is the hybrid battery. The battery shows, yeah, there's only one bar gone of, out of the whole time of me waiting. But yeah, as you can see, the car is not able to power on the main computer to even start the car. So if I hit the button here, let's see what happens. Okay, so now I'm going to put my foot on the pedal. And then we're going to try to start it. I'm going to push it down, hit start. And see it says car not ready to drive. And the reason why is because like I said, this screen did not turn on. And that's the main screen that powers, well controls the whole vehicle. So if I go to drive, just to show you it's not going to work. Yeah, it's not liking it. It's freaking out. So I'm going to put this back in the park. So now at this point, you you are going to want to go ahead and open up your hood. Let me find that hood here. And then get your stuff ready. Get your battery ready. You know, whether it's a lithium ion battery, 12 volt battery, it could be a motorcycle battery. It could be even from like one of those little toy cars that, you know, them kids ride with the, the four wheels on it. You know, anything. As long as it's a 12 volt battery and you have some wire. I just happen to have this wire here sitting in my trunk, needed it one day, and I just happened to be like, wait, I don't have jumper cables, so I got wire. So I just put these little two ends on here, because when I take this battery out, that's the only way, well, not the only way, but a safer way to get this battery to, to connect to my car. I have to get this taken off, I have to set this camera down so I can do that. Okay, so... Yep, took the battery out. Set this to the side, don't need it. And okay, so here's what the battery looks like. Um, I will warn you that if you do this method, it's better to use a regular, you know, 12 volt battery that's not a lithium going to a, you know, power tool, or at least one that's got more higher amperage, just because you can melt the plastic if you start the vehicle with the wire still plugged in. So I'm going to show you the correct way to do it so you don't do what I did and actually melt the plastic that's on the battery. The battery works fine as you just seen earlier with the, you know, using the flashlight, powering on the flashlight. So let's go see what happens because, yeah, this car will not start. I'm going to do it again. Okay, the car is pushing the brake pedal back at me. It's trying to depress it. I'm going to push it down again to start. Yeah, see, now the gauge don't even work. So, yeah, it's really getting low. I'm not sure if you can hear that sound in the background. But, yeah. Oh, hey, it looks like it turned this back on. Sounds trying to start. But, yeah, either way, let me go ahead and jumpstart this car or add a little power to the car since, you know, like I said, you can't jumpstart. And uh, I'll show you how to get that done. Uh, let me turn this off first.
Okay, so most vehicles have more than one battery, not battery, more than one fuse compartment. This here is fuses and relays. I don't want to touch that. Leave that there. What I want is the main one here. Well, I, ironically, it says the same thing, fuses, well, relay and fuse, but that's the one that we want. So we're going to go ahead and pop this guy off. I'm just going to sit this guy to the side. There we go. Okay. So yeah, so for a hybrid vehicle or any vehicle that's got a battery that's in the trunk, under the seat, or heck, even under the light somewhere, you're going to have a ground, which is, you know, pretty much anything that's connected to the metal and body of the vehicle. And then you're going to have this here, which is your positive. So you want to pop that off. And now, if you look at it, you, on this side, is, it, on my vehicle, it just has the plastic. But then the other side actually is, a better view, actually is the metal side. So, like I said, you, you don't jumpstart a hybrid. But you can apply power to this piece and the other lead of the wire to here. And then that would essentially start your vehicle. So let me get this wired up for you. I got the leads put on the battery. Pretty much I just slid those right in. Real easy. Instead of using the bare wire. So now we got the battery ready. And now we're just going to take this wire here. Actually, let's move this. Got my wire twisted. Okay, so I don't have the tool. Well, actually, I do have the tool. I'm just not going to use it. I'm lazy. Um, pretty much, you want to have the ground touching the ground post here. I'm just going to sit it in there lightly. Hope that it catches and gets a connection, good connection there. This is a lot easier with two hands because you can have one finger here and the other finger on the other side. There we go. Touching. And just to confirm, when you do this, you want to make sure you have your negative and positive on the right side or sides of the battery. If you have this wrong, then obviously this is going to be wrong and you do not want that to be backwards. So pay very close attention to your battery that you're actually using. Make sure you have the positive on the positive and negative on the negative to get this to work. So then we're going to take this here and just touch the positive. Okay, you see that little spark? So I'm just going to hold this here. I'm not going to hold it long. Just hold it for, I don't know, 10, 10 seconds maybe. Heck, maybe even 30 seconds. And that's really all you need to get the, start, the vehicle to start. And as long as it sparks, then you know it's still using the battery power from the little battery to get going. So now I'm going to disconnect that. Let's see if this works. Put the foot on the pedal. Hit start. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Screen's on. This is on. Everything's working so far. Yep, we are back in business. Okay, so yep, it is working. Okay, folks, that's pretty much how you do it. Obviously, my engine did not turn on, but the car is going to do it automatically because it's well, computer controlled, but as you can see from the video, it does work. So thank you for watching, you guys. Please go ahead and like and share the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to as well. Have a lot more video videos to post on the channel, but I've just been a very busy guy. I just haven't gotten around to editing all these videos, uh, but eventually I'm going to have video more videos up on the channel. 
uh, more helpful information for you guys. But other than that, you guys have a great day. And thank you for watching.